Okay, I just purchased this Home Run Do HD TV. Uh, the advantage of this is, is unlike other TV cards for computers, this one connects to the network, and it has a dual tuner, so I don't have to plug into one computer. I can use this to uh, watch TV basically on any computer in my house, which I have five right now. That's five. One, two, three, four, five, and tablets. Okay, I just opened the box. Let's see what I have here. Oh, let me just move my keyboard. I have the device itself, just like the picture, power, ethernet, cable. I have disks, obviously, I need it to install, or I can go to the website and download. Uh, quick star guide. Wow. The device must be easy to use. That's the only pamphlet they have. Connect single, connect ethernet, connect power. All right, I can do that. Power cord. And let's see what I have here. I have an ethernet cable and a Cortexio cable. I'm not gonna need that since I have extra, so I'm gonna put that aside. Just connected it, you see the box. Cortexio cable, ethernet cable, power. A little light just start blinking. It was blinking red and now it's blinking uh, green. Let me go put the CD in and start seeing what I can do with it. Okay, I decided to go to Silicon Dust website and download their latest software, which you can see supports Windows, Mac, and Linux. I do have a MacBook here running uh, Lion, so I will do that later. Mac, but the PC is my main one, so it's only a 5 meg download. It's done. Let's see. Yes. Set up wizard. Yep, go ahead and install. Okay, once the software is complete, I have a little check mark that says Detect the Computer Home Device. So I click yes, let me close my screen. Okay, the scan channel just completed. Uh, both toners were set to digital cable, of course. And then we found, I think, about 70 channels here. Yeah. And then I can hit finish. Updating. And let's go to my web browser. And I'm presuming it's finished. Now let's go to start menu. Program. Home run. Quick TV. Let's see if anything shows up. Okay, so the channel scan is done. Uh, let's get about 50 channels. On the right line, you can click on each of it to preview. 
Windows Media Player will show up. Look here. Okay, once I s start at Media Center, is trying to uh, set up TV signal. Of course, I want to uh, continue. Let's use USA region, yes. And here's the zip code for here. And I can agree. Uh, let me just make it smaller, easier to record. Okay, I'm gonna agree to the statements. Okay, now it's downloading data. I can just stop recording now and start again when this is done. I think the next step is setting up channels actually. As you can see from the earlier setting, there's about 60. Let's see how many Windows Media Player will search. Oh wow, never mind. Downloading program guide. Okay, now I'm scanning channels. I just, I'm going to pause here for a bit. Okay, the TV channels got finished. Sc scanning is scanned 26 channels which we know it's not correct because I have previewed at least 50 here and I was reading it and it says here in the instructions that send channels without guide names or guide numbers you have to enter it manually by going to a, let's say a TV guide matching each actually watch the preview and then put in the numbers before you can rescan it in media center so it's pretty uh, labor intensive since 50 to 60 percent of the channels did not get automatically scanned so I will have to do that before I actually start watching TV but let's just hit next for now hit finish go back and click on TV live TV see if anything shows up okay looks good uh, let's see if I can get at least my logo channels. I usually watch NBC. Uh, not that's NBC Univision. J Church Create C Antenna. I guess not. I can't watch NBC right now. Okay, let's just click on the channel and see if anything shows up. Okay, as you can see from the uh, aspect ratio it is HD. 1080i looks good there's not a lot of lag the quality is good once I finish uh, entering the channel information I come back and do a rescan and when that's done I will try uh, mobile watching it in mobile Okay, scrap what I just said uh, after reading it more closely. Apparently, that the reason it's not showing is because if there's no gu uh, guide data in Media Center, it would not show. So what you can do is go to Task, Settings, TV. No, actually, let's go back. Okay, 
I take that back. Uh, the reason this channel is not showing is because there's no guide information. So just go to media settings and go to TV, go to guide, and edit channel. Anything that's not have a padlock settings is not locked. Just make sure there's a check mark. I just went ahead and check mark all of them. And then I'm gonna go back. And then I can watch TV. Like TV. And as you can see from the channel scan, there's a lot more channels. Some of them don't show me where it is, so I just have to go through them and see what they are. Well, that's a, the instructions say that's a typical. problem with a digital cable. I will have no such problem if I'm using antenna, which I do have here. I have one of those flat wave antennas that I plan to use. Hopefully it will be better. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the switch it to antenna and do a channel scan. Doesn't matter. And come back once this is finished. Okay, so the video is shown uh, after channel scan. Here's the guide. Click on it. So yes, the device does work, but I recommend you use it for uh, antenna, like I do, and uh, because there's just not enough unencrypted channels anymore. And here's my setup. I have my computer playing media player. Here is my TV toner, and I put my flat panel antenna, which I have shown in another video right here so it's one simple string line design and if I want to watch something on the big screen I can always hook it up to my large TV through a HDMI cable but right now I'm just using it with my Mac and uh, PlayStation so for 50 bucks I recommend it